I don't know that music. I never had a show. They just took somebody else's music for me. So. I'm surprised we had to be here this year. I thought the Republicans were supposed to fix everything. But, uh, <laughs> Oh, crime. Crime is so terrible. I live in New York. I have six locks on my door all in a row. And when I go out, I only lock every other one because I figure no matter how long somebody stands there, picks the locks, they're always locking three. <laughs> crime is frightening to me. I think men and women perceive crime differently, you know? A man gets mugged, he loses his watch or his wallet, that's about it. Women have other considerations to worry about. I'm walking to New York with my boyfriend last week. He says, gee, it's a beautiful night. Let's go down by the river. I said, what are you, nuts? I'm not going down by the river. It's midnight, I'm wearing jewelry, I'm carrying money, I have a vagina with me, I'm not going down. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll leave it in my other pants, then we'll go down. I did say the word boyfriend, didn't I? Boyfriend. <laughs> There's no good word about someone if you're not married. If you just live with a boyfriend, makes you sound 11, doesn't it? There's no good word, you know? I mean, you're old man. If you're not living with Willie Nelson, that one doesn't work. Uh, it's hard to introduce him. I just say, hi, this is my person who thinks he loves me. He can't make a commitment. He was married a long time ago. The divorce wasn't that nice. We split the house over. So we have to Very hard to live with another human being. If you're married or you live with someone, I think there is one thing that you say all day and all night that drives you crazy, and you have to say it. There's one thing you say all the time in that house. You know what I think it is? I think it's, what? <laughs> what? You're deaf, you mumble, what? But I heard that. Oh, that you heard. <laughs> they don't want to educate you about sex. I'll tell you, use condoms. That's all. It's not a big deal. It's not embarrassing. Anybody can look cool putting on a condom. You know? Open it up there like Errol Flynn. Be a swashbuckler. Put it on. Great event to follow. No problem. <laughs> I do admit that there's probably not a person in America who can look cool taking one of these things off. Uh, just go, just go out, go, just... No, just take... I don't think there's a woman left in America who has a wicker wastebasket in her bedroom anymore. <laughs> a steel belted radial waist bag with my address painted on the side the truck just backs right into my bedroom next day. <laughs> we had another banner year of the bimbo this year let's see who is it this year who gets the jessica Hahn award oh the wade boggs woman oh please go away stop cluttering up the airwaves leave room for comics you know i i you know the guy was married she knew it leave the guy alone i hope you have a great year wade because i'm on your side and you know these women come out and tell people's business and uh, it's so awful they think they have so much to say if they had that much to say how come they have to appear nude in order to get people to read what they have to say you know i have a very important story to tell and i'm naked in the next issue <laughs> I think we should pass a new law. Let's just have a new law, okay? This is it. Nobody can get famous just being naked or sleeping with a celebrity. You have to make a contribution to society first. That's the new law. <laughs> that should be it, you know? I mean, you have to do something first. We can still have Playboy, you can still be naked, but do something that counts. You know, I just developed a vaccine and I'd like to show my breasts. Go ahead, you've earned it. Thank you. Give money. Thanks for coming. Good night.